Hey Capricorn, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma. You're watching I Enigma. We're gonna do your March 8 to 14 reads. Let's see the messages for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Leo signs and Capricorn. Let's see the messages. Since this is a general reading, take what resonates and leave what does not resonate. Always Capricorn, you have the good cards coming in right off the bat. Do not forget to subscribe for more videos on your sign and yeah. I do white prayer based spells for your highest good and we have personal readings for you where i'm going to provide reasonable rates live question and answers to help you clear your doubts it's very accurate and uh, we have self-curated crystals bracelets to help you manifest your desires 3x and these are intention charged you can reach out to me for any of these services and yeah do like share subscribe and comment at the end let's see have fun what's coming in Wow, I can see there's someone that is having an eye on you. This is someone when you start to date. Because if you're still in this past, lingering in the past, and you still want to be, uh, you know, taken by someone that rejected you or has been giving you scraps, you still want to go there. I feel like you need to take a decision. Some of you have already taken a decision, but some of you are still stuck in the past. Or somewhere like a past person rejected me. I want them back. I'm not able to move on. That is something that I, I'm not appreciative of. And I'm also seeing that your person has just given up on you. So it's time that you bring yourself into action, which most of you have already. Heal yourself because you have an option coming into your life. I feel this is someone that you've already met for some of you. It's been just seven days or weeks. I feel like um, after a little bit of patience and, you know, a little bit of suffering, you are meant to lead the life that you always wanted to. Okay, this is a time where you will attract a wealthy partner, someone that is just full of love, but they have, they love luxuries, they have a huge house, I feel this person is very rich, they have huge money, I'm also hearing government, something to do with government, two of sorts, first of all, you have to come out of this energy, you can see this came up again, come out of this energy of still I, uh, lingering in the past, or repeating the past patterns any of these if you're in any of these energies are still lingering in the past not able to move on or if you're in this energy of should i move on or should i not you have to be extremely assertive i feel at least start dating because I feel like this is the person that you will be meeting somehow when you start to date. Okay. And this is someone that's extremely loving. Initially, you might not see them as very rich, but definitely they'll come towards you with a lot of emotional, you know, uh, conversation. But don't fall for anyone that comes in. You have to keep your logical mind active at the same time, right? I am not there. I'm not sitting with you. I can give you guidance in the main course is followed by you what i'm seeing definitely that comes is this new love this oozing love this abundant love that a new beginning is coming into your life someone is pouring on pouring in their heart to you loving you respecting you so much guys i want to pull this deck the one thing that will attract them towards you is how you are so kind. There's something about your kindness that attracts them towards your relationships. They're looking for a genuine relationship. They're not looking for someone who keeps blaming and who are, who's in this fear of they will leave me or stuff like that. If you've still not healed yet and still have fear of being mm -hmm. left out in the cold or you end up blaming other person you still haven't healed yet and you still need some time to be with this kind of a person they're looking for an equal give and take they're looking for a commitment i feel like there's something from the past that keeps tempting you to look back you have to look forward because a relationship is definitely yes yeah, see the past person is continuously distracting you by making you look back every time you move on this is not good. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy that you need to get rid of. Be strong. Courage just to take that step forward. Some of you dealing with a Leo. You're definitely seeing that. You're ready for this new love coming in. 
that's your soulmate gemini energy but i'm definitely seeing that you're starting to date and talk to new people and when you start doing that you will get overwhelmed with the kind of responses you'll be getting in return let me pull this one you're the center of attraction the moment you release the past and start getting into this dating you know energy you need to be more practical if you really want your person to invest in you you have to be fully available you can't be having a leg outside of being skeptical and confused and the leg in where you're giving this person a thought like should i should i not so i feel like somewhere you have to still keep a balance between opening up too much or too less so be practical if you really want someone it can't be like a a uh, hollywood star coming for you it's something that you have to live in the reality while looking for one okay so what you are is the kind of a person you will be attracting so that reflects on your person okay so raise your energies your vibrations first work on yourself i'm definitely seeing there's no more waiting left you have to stop being stuck so maybe you're stuck with a pisces or an aries it's time that you take action the moment you start taking action capricorn your wheel of fortune is going to do wonders i'm seeing a lot of luck coming in guys a lot of luck trust me on that you does deserve nothing less than love so if someone is not giving you what you deserve it is time that you understand that i don't deserve someone or something that doesn't give me enough that doesn't keep me feeling satisfied i'm always begging for more so i'm not a beggar i'm, I'm not living on scraps so why so you have to question yourself and see whether this is going in the right direction or not if not then move on so i feel it's time for you to change the wheel and attract new love into your life because see you're not uh, you know you're not allowing full on separation you're not ready for a full on separation is also because this person is dominating or some of you have father issues because of which you don't really know you know um ending things completely for some of you or for some of you it is like your person is lying about a lot of things to you very on and off dominating and is also somewhere putting you in a vulnerable state that they will leave you that is also one of the reasons why you're finding it difficult to completely cut off ties this could be a very specific message for someone specific if you're dealing with an aries or a scorpio it's time for you to take action cut the cords and move on because transformation is waiting on for you some of you cancer i feel there's someone older an older man or an older figure that is extremely deceptive and jealous and might be putting all the wrong thoughts in your head so you may not to you may not need to listen to the people that are not giving you good vibes so be careful of the manipulation the people are doing page of cups is like uh, it's time the universe wants you to experience the dating okay new phase new love and excitement so paint your life with new beginnings i feel that's what you want to do so i'm feeling that you will be attracted to someone new initially and this will de definitely lead you towards a rich married life oh why do i get this queen of swords I feel like you're working on a passion from a very long time. You will see major results happening in this uh coming time. Queen of Swords is like you're becoming very focused and protective about your husband or your wife, your family or kids. You will become extremely protective about your person. The way they're loving and caring, you're going to be extremely protective. You will become so strong that there's nothing in this world that can shake you or break you. some of you there's a libra coming in but what i'm seeing is that you're very much ready to beat all odds in order to be with the right person there could be cancer coming in but this person is someone that keeps you safe and they feel safe with you see so there's a father figure there's someone that's very concerned about 
if it's your father, then they really need you to have a new beginning. Someone definitely is wanting to help you to get rid of the past and move on. Okay? And have a new beginning. Yeah. You're any it, which way. You're starting a new chapter in your life. You're starting afresh. Capricorn. Minor thoughts. By the way, that's my dog snoring in the background. She feels a little antsy. This is my dog. I'm so sorry. You may face certain challenges from either your father or your... Some of you are wanting to get inheritance, but despite of being such a loving child, you're not. So that could be a very, very specific message. So you may need to fight this if you want to have. For some of you, it's like past person not leaving your ass, making you feel all distressed and worried and anxious and as if you need to beat all odds. You know, it's very challenging for you at one point. But in the end of the day, three of wands is like expansion. You're coming out of the pit and you have so much happiness coming in. Like there's dynamite of happiness coming in. And you will still be surrounded by certain people that are just literally jealous and talking behind your back. But it's fun because you're making some people insecure because there's something about you. That is why you're making people insecure. Your angels are going to be by your side no matter where you go, what you do. They're going to be by your side. Okay. So for this, you must regularly pray so that you're, you're connected with your angels, universe, and the law of attraction. See, angel of balance. You guys, Libra, that's who you are attracting. For some of you, it's like it's you, sun in Libra or moon in Libra, Venus in Libra. But I feel like there's a lot of balance that's coming into your life. You've been extremely unstable all over the place recently. But you feel I found the treasure and I know what I want now. You're becoming more focused and protective about your assets, especially your person. So they're coming. Your person is coming. I feel some people are not very happy with the balance that you found in your life. So you can't change people. You can change yourself. Change in the wind. See, I was telling you. Change yourself. You can't change others. Change yourself. Change your location. Change your direction. Change your focus in order to find balance. Co-create is also a card of balance. I'm also seeing, see, we are all humans and we are meant to live in a community where there are different types of people, different types of mindsets. We cannot change anyone. We can just change our direction. So something I feel like if you really want to grow, change your direction. If, if you're feeling like there's someone that's pulling you, pushing you and hurting you. You guys will definitely start to meet people of your mindset. That vibrate on a higher pitch. But I'm definitely seeing there's a relationship that's coming in. There's a partnership that you were waiting on. The right kind of a person that you were waiting on. It's coming in. There you go. Arrow. So focus. Arrow is all, also about being protective. Or protecting your energy from people. And focusing in the right direction. It's something that's very important right now. Those you love love you okay so right now have faith in the people that really love you okay and only love the ones that really care for you for example your mother your parent your father your grandfather whoever you are connected to you should focus all your energy to those people if you really want to expand the energy of love in your life Amplify it by being with the people that love you, not surrounded with the people that hate you or that want to take advantage of you, okay? Start from your family and friends. Healthy communication. So if you maintain good relationship with the right kind of people and maintain healthy communication, you would naturally push away any kind of drama, okay? So it will also help you become more assertive about your needs. When you're surrounding yourself with the right people, you'll also attract more righteous people. So yeah, first of all, just declutter the drama from your life. Yeah. Criticizing, yes, I was seeing, I was telling you that blaming. Okay, and another card was fear. When you blame others, you start to fear yourself. So instead of talking in 
you know, um, fighting back or competing with someone, it's always better to just ignore, change the wind, change your direction. <sighs> Criticizing is never the best policy. And if you're with someone and you want to adjust with them or criticize them, it's always better to adjust with the people you love. Your dreams are coming into fruition. You will build a strong confidence for yourself and a personality, uh, standing strong for yourself, having your own position and, you know, respect in society. I feel you build a solid foundation You come out of the ashes and bring a new you out. See. It happens when you start to seek within. I'm strongly sensing nine is the number for you. You'll see a lot of nine, which means that it's time that you seek within, look within. Change yourself from within instead of changing the whole world. That's not going to happen ever. You can't change anyone. So. You're all stardust. Like We're all like all the elements in our body are found in stars as well. So how can the universe be outside, inside of us? So that's what it is saying. This whole picture is depicting that. There are total how many planets? There are nine planets. Oh my gosh. There are nine planets. Yeah. Earlier there were like nine, I think. And nine is a number where we're talking about, you know, looking within the whole universe is inside of you. You're in a galaxy. And you're made up of all those elements that are present in the stars. So how come you are different from the happiness? So all the happiness and home lies inside of you. Now let's see uh, the signs that are coming in. Capricorn, the signs that you will be dealing with. It's fun. This read is totally fun. If you enjoyed it and want more, do write down in the comment section with a like button to claim it and subscribe for more videos like this okay i love capricorn basically because of all of these readings coming in for you i'm impressed cancer gemini and leo these are some signs that you'll be dealing with and i'm gonna see from aries to pisces just your person feel about you aries is all about you being their person they see you as a marriage material they want to date you to get married to you but be careful still i always say that you have to keep your mind and heart open Taurus, they want marriage, they see you as a perfect match and they want to grow with you. Basically, they see you being a lucky charm for them. Gemini has options. I feel like the Gemini wants to wait because they're unsure right now. They just want to see, they want to date and see how things are moving forward before they can jump into something um, assertive. Wait, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing. Cancer, I feel like the Cancer is just like very obsessed energy they are obsessed with you and they're like i want to have them by hook or by group this no love i feel i don't think so but yeah exceptions are always there leo misses you from the past they want reconciliation virgo virgo is like virgo is like moving on they don't see future potential here libra wants to come with a love offer scorpio when you start doing tarot it's like gets too draining but then you have to you know whenever i do a lot of tarot it gets really draining and then i think i'm helping people and it's helping a lot of people uh, change their lives so why not i that's when i direct my energy and i feel all over and energetic again so we have um, scorpio scorpio is moving i feel like the scorpio was stuck and they're releasing this. I don't know. That's what I feel. Very strongly, I feel. Sagittarius is attracted to you. Impressed by you. No, Scorpio is more like, okay, since the day they saw you, they're stuck on you. But they cannot understand what's going on with them. Capricorn. Blocking this energy, moving on. Because they think they want something casual and you want something serious. So no. Aquarius is looking at your pictures and getting influenced. And I feel like this person is making a move real soon. Pisces. Pisces has a crush on you. I feel like this person is even ready to cry for you. This person is so obsessed. Not in a negative way, but emotionally. They're like wanting to put their everything. Invest their everything. Into you. you have a Taurus around. 
traveling is something that you may find some sort of a major breakthrough through or traveling will help you separate yourself from past thoughts and people yes you have people that are jealous and you might also attract someone that is like younger than you and has um, a younger boy will be the younger one okay i feel like this person's name has these letters and i feel whatever is happening in your life you're being uh closely watched by the spirit guides and angels yeah anything else don't want to pull too many okay you feel a little like lost and as if there's a little void in the heart you want someone to complete it and it's coming someone's name is jeffrey um br something with br that's it i don't want to pull more because i feel that's enough someone's from france someone has a boston terrier dog i feel like you're going to make a new relationship real soon a person may have a bed or you have It's like some things are happening in your life really fast and you have no control over it and it's fun. Okay. Someone is a pharmacologist. Yeah, maybe. So that's about it. I'll see you again with more stuff. Capricorn, do not forget to like this video and subscribe. Comment and share it on your WhatsApp. I'll see you again. Bye.